In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a complete teardown and rebuild of this computer uh, so you'll know how to access every component and how to put them all back and some helpful hints along the way uh, on how to access those components safely. So let's get right into this procedure. Uh, for those of you that want to save some time, if you have any questions or comments uh, throughout this process, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. As I see questions come in uh, more and more frequently, I'll, I'll add those to that list. Uh, hopefully that will save you some time instead of waiting for an answer. Uh, if you do need to leave me a comment, I also try to get back to you guys at least twice a day. So the first step in any repair, make sure your work environment is safe and you're not going to damage your computer without knowing it. Uh, some people go for the anti-static bracelet around their wrist. Uh, me, myself, I have an anti-static pad uh, that rests on top of my desk that my computer and my tools sit on. Uh, that guards against damage to the computer while I'm working on it and while I have it open. So after unplugging our power adapter, we're going to flip the computer over and we're going to remove our bottom case. There's four screws, one in each corner, and there's one screw under each of these two rubber stoppers. There are no screws under the four rubber feet. A little helpful hint on taking out screws, not all screws are the same size. Your bottom case screws will not be the same size as your motherboard screws. Those will not be the same size as your hard drive screws. So make sure as you're going into this computer or any computer, you're keeping your screws separate and grouped up by size. I'm going to use my small flat pry tool to take off these rubber stoppers. They're usually just held on by double sided tape. After that, I'm going to take my small flat metal pry tool. I'm going to go along the seam of the bottom case and the palm rest and pry them apart. So we're inside your computer. Here's your battery. There's your motherboard. Just like we unplugged your power adapter, uh, the next step you take in any computer pair, unplug your battery from the motherboard. You want as little power running through the computer as possible when you're working on it. So we're going to follow the battery cable up. It plugs right in there. So when we're going to use a plastic pry tool and there's a little fitting right there in the center that lets you put this in and press off on it. So that comes unplugged just like that. Now there's a screw here for the battery. We're going to unscrew that. There are two ribbon cables running on top of the battery and these are held in in a very typical way. There's a plastic clip that comes up. You're going to take your flat pry tool, put it under that clip and gently pop it up. And then you can slide your ribbon cable right out. I'm going to pop that back down for safety. Those parts are extremely breakable uh, and if you break it or lose it, uh, even if it falls off, sometimes they're very hard to get on and you break them when you get it on, so be careful not to break those. I'm going to do the same thing on this end of the ribbon cable. Pop it up, slide the cable out, pop it back down. Same thing on this side, pop it up. This side is held down by tape. I'm not sure if, if yours is. If I ever see tape holding components down and I have to remove it, I try to save the tape. Try not to rip it off and lose it. Someone thought it was a good idea at some point, so. So there we go. You have your screw out, ribbon cables off, batteries unplugged. The battery comes right up like that. If you need to replace the battery, you can use these model numbers up here, as well as your volt rating and your ohms rating. That's how you would find the appropriate battery. You can also search for the make, model, and then the word battery on whatever site you're using, eBay, Amazon, whatever site you're using, that usually works as well. The motherboard is located right here. A lot more things are plugging into it than your battery. Uh, so we'll go step by step. Right down here, your speaker wires are coming into a port right there. And this again is a very typical connector. It's got two little lips on either side. So we're gonna put a fingernail in one, pry tool in the other, and just slide that right out. Speaker wires unplugged. You come around here, there's another ribbon cable coming from your touchpad. I'm gonna pop that up just like we did on the battery. Slide that out. Put it back down for safety. Right here there's another ribbon cable coming down. It's got some tape on it. So again I'm going to try to save that tape. I'm going to peel that up very gently. Pop that clip up. Slide the ribbon out. Put it back down. This is your LCD cable. 
So again, kind of the same design as this connector right there. Gonna put a fingernail that end, pry tool on this end, slide it right out. Here's your Wi-Fi card, which is held down by tape, a screw, and the two Wi-Fi antennas are coming in. So those all have to come undone. So we're gonna peel off your tape. Oop, looks like tape was already ripped. So one of the Wi-Fi wires came up. I'm gonna just pop up the other one. Okay, so the Wi-Fi wires are up. I'm gonna unscrew the card. Again, keep the screw with your Wi-Fi card. It's the only one of that size in a computer usually. Slide the Wi-Fi card out. This wire here is coming from your power jack. We can slide that out the same way we did the other ones. It's a little harder, just wiggle it back and forth. It's a little tight in there because it's under the power jack itself. And it looks like that's everything that plugs into the computer. So now I'm just gonna go around and take out your screws. I see one, two, three screws. So that motherboard should come right up. There you go, so there's your motherboard. As you can see, the heatsink assembly is not very complicated in this computer. You don't see a fan or any large uh, copper components. That's because this is a small computer, doesn't produce that much heat, doesn't need a big heatsink. So to access your CPU, we're gonna take out these four screws holding your heatsink down. It comes up, just like that. So there's your CPU. As you can see, it's not easily removable. It's integrated into the motherboard. So you can't easily take that out and replace it. But that's where you would find your CPU if you wanted to clean it off, reapply thermal paste. The USB board is right there. It's held on by one screw. You remove that screw, the USB board comes out. Your power jack is right here. It's not really screwed in. We unplugged it from your motherboard. This just pulls right up. If you're looking to access your LCD assembly, all you have to do is unscrew these hinge screws remove the palm rest, and we'll get at your LCD. So I'm gonna take my palm rest and gently slide it up a little bit to move those hinges, give me room to move. Your LCD assembly. Your Wi-Fi wires is coming down here. We're gonna to have to take that up. There you go. And the palm rest just comes off like that. If you're looking to access your touchpad, you'd remove these two screws on that bar holding it down, as well as this screw, and that screw, and your touchpad assembly would come up. Now we have your LCD assembly. To get at your LCD assembly, it looks like there are four screws, one up top on each corner, one down bottom on each corner. Again, we're gonna take our pry tool and take those off. These look like stickers, these are rubber stoppers. Sometimes it helps to use a razor to get the stickers out. They're very thin, just be careful. Now I'll take out those four screws. Now that the screws are out, I'm gonna take my small metal flat pry tool again. I'm gonna go along the edge of the bezel and the rear lid and slowly pop that up. Be very careful, especially around here, where your webcam is. Now you may run into down here, I'm running into some double-sided tape, so just be careful, go slow. And the bezel comes off like that. There's your LCD. I see two screws holding it down there, two screws there. Carefully slide that up. Let me zoom into this connection here so you can see how to unconnect it. There's the other side of your LCD cable that came from your computer and it's plugged in here to your LCD. So we're gonna take my small flat pry tool. It's usually held down by tape. I'm gonna slowly peel that tape up. Go nice and slow. These LCD cables and these ports are very easy to break. So slowly, carefully peel this tape up, go even. Slowly work our way toward the port. 
in the connector. You don't want to just rip it up because you'll break it. So nice and slow. Okay. Now our tape is free. We're going to bend that back. Give us access to our port. Classic pry tool again. Push one end out. There you go. And it snaps off like that. So to put this computer back together now, we'll just go in, re in reverse. We'll bring our rear lid over here. Bring our LCD back over. Line it up. We're going to slide that port in. Same way that we took it out. So hold your... Hold your tape back. Lift your LCD up a little bit. Slide it in. Be very careful, these are very breakable. So once that's slid in and, and secure, I'm just gonna slide the tape back over. As you'll notice when doing this, there's no clip or anything that you bend over and lock it in place. That's why we need that tape. So once that's in, I'm gonna very carefully fold that back over. Get it over my, LC, over my hinges, make sure it's still connected well. Get my cables out of there. Don't want it laying down on anything it shouldn't be. I'm going to lie it down in place. After all this touching of your screen, not a bad idea to clean it after you get this computer put together. Make sure our cables are out of the way. Bring our bezel back over. Snap that down in, into place. You may have to go around a few times to snap everything into place correctly. Just take your time, go back around, make sure it's smooth, check all your seams. Okay, mine looks pretty good. I'm going to screw it back down now. I'm going to put my rubber stoppers on the bottom where they were. And again, those are double sided tape. Those should go back pretty well. Um, if any of it came up, you can just reapply it. And then I'm going to put the stickers on the top part. A little more tricky, but... I'm going to bring your palm rest back over. But remember, this is upside down, so we're going to line it up the way that it should go and flip it over. Alright, so these hinges are going to line up this way to your palm rest. We're going to raise it up a little bit, make sure all the cables are coming out. We want access to all those cables. And we're going to slide it in just like this so that all of our cables are free. Nothing's getting stuck and the hinges are lined up right there. And I'm going to screw those hinges back in. One good way the computer companies have given us to know which holes get screws and which don't, on these hinges there are little triangles or little arrows that point to the holes that get screws. Because there's three holes, but only two holes get screws. So it's kind of nice. Once that's screwed in, we can fold it down. Make it easier to work on. So we're going to run this antenna wire back along its track. using my plastic pry tool. So now we're going to start putting components back in. We want... We're going to put the heat sink back onto our, our CPU, back on our motherboard. We're going to slide this into place. Again, we want to get all these cables out of the way because we want them all to plug in correctly. So we're going to lay this down, try to get all the cables out from under it. So a good thing I just noticed is this ribbon cable goes out under your Wi-Fi cable. So that should go on top of it. Uh, get the black Wi-Fi cable out from under there. There we go. 
All right, so it looks like everything's free. Doesn't look like I got anything caught under the motherboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw my motherboard down. Now some people don't like screwing it down at this point. Um, I don't screw the screws in all the way, just get them a little bit in there. Just so it doesn't move when I'm trying to work on it. Again, just like your hinges. As you can see here, there's those white triangles or those white arrows that go towards the holes that need screws. If you didn't remember. So we're gonna start plugging stuff back in. So your speaker wires right down here. I'm gonna slide that right back in. Your touchpad ribbon cable, slide that in. There you go. We're going to take your Wi-Fi card next, I think. Oh, nope. I think I'm going to do the power jack cable first. That's kind of tight. So it's a very, very tight fit. That, that may take you a little while. Just get that kind of flat in there. Then bring your Wi-Fi card over, put that in. Get my screw, my Wi-Fi screw that I kept separate. All right, now these Wi-Fi wires are always a little bit of a pain. They're snaps. They're not ribbon cables that slide in, they're not plugs that push in, they're snaps. So the white one was the furthest one this way. So I'm gonna get that snap right over it and then I'm gonna push. I'm not sure if you could hear that or not, but it snapped in. I'm going to bring the black one right up top and I'm going to push. There you go. Again, I'm not sure if you heard that, but it snapped in. Put that tape down, what's left of it. And then your LCD cable, I'm going to slide that back into its port. Slide that right there. Let me show this white Wi-Fi does not like sitting down in its track, which is usual when you take something up from its track. All right, now we're going to slide that down there, get out of the way. I'll pop this up, slide the ribbon cable back in. We need a good angle on that. Looks like it's going to be a pain in the butt. So that looks like everything's plugged in and secure. Bring the battery back over here, set it down where it needs to go. Get that right nice and snug in there. Remember those ribbon cables that came over? We're going to do those next. I'm going to slide this one right in here. If you don't remember which end was which, this says MB for motherboard. For some reason this one doesn't say motherboard, but this side says USB, so you still know which goes which. I'm going to take this tape up. Alright, we're going to screw in that, that battery. And the last thing you do in any computer pair is plug back in your battery. So that's the last thing we have left. I'm going to put that in. After we're done poking around, bring your bottom case back over. Snap that in place. So at this point, in any computer pair, you may want to flip it over, turn it on, make sure it works, make sure you didn't have anything that you left unattached. And then once you're sure you're okay, once it turns on and you're good, you can come back and shut this up. Now the rubber components that go on top of those, they're angled, because these are angled, kind of annoying. Just make sure you bring the thick one out back here and you angle it correctly. And then the smaller one goes up here, angle it correctly. There you go. Again, if you have any questions or comments, check out the FAQs below. It could save you some time getting an answer. Uh, if you do need to leave me a comment or a question, I do try to review those a couple times a day at least. 